Hi, so let's play with editing today. I have a box of uh, Magnum postcards. Black and white and color photographs from all the uh, Magnum photographers. I bought this like a while ago. I haven't really used them or looked at them much, but uh, let's play with them today. So what I'm gonna do, uh, today I'll just pick, okay, I'll, let's just randomize it. I will pick, randomly pick one key image and try and make an edit, two edits, two different edits of five images, like five picture edit. Um, and uh, basically pick one key image and then pick five other, five other images from the pile randomly to sort of form a sequence. Uh, essentially, I'll strip off all context from the images and look at it purely from a visual standpoint, design, uh, structure, composition, elements, color, um, subject matter. Uh, but everything is purely visual. Uh, I'll remove all context. This is just a little exercise. Um, let's see. So I'll pick a random image. Okay, I picked this one. Bruno Barbie. Bruno Barbie? Yeah. So this is my key image. So what I'm going to do is just look for visual cues that kind of um, pop at me. So I see white, I'll start with color first, white, brown, blue. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but let's see. Okay, this is a, maybe something to consider. 3-3. Three, three. So I'll put this aside. <clears throat> Interesting. Those are the color ones. Uh, let's have a look at black and white. Maybe. Sorry, this is going to take a while while I sift through them. Okay, looks like leaning towards a really simple edit. Okay. So 
So I've got five images. Let's see. Okay, maybe I'll do sort of this sequence. Okay, I'll turn it around. Okay, since I'm facing it the other way, it should be the other way. Okay, first image. Uh, three subjects. There's a boy here, looks like he's eating something. Will lead me to this. Three ladies carrying what looks like loaves of bread. It connects with the boy eating. This one goes to this. Three ladies in bikinis. You don't see uh, you don't see their faces. This is a, from the back, and this is the heads are chopped off. So it kind of like you know allows me to transition to that, and then from that transitions to this. It looks like they're dancing, and that transitions to this. The boy from the first image has grown up <laughs> and he's dancing with the ladies so boys in the first and the last image I mean it doesn't mean anything it's just visual and then um, let's see if this kind of so three And from there, there. Okay, so that's edit one. Let's try one more edit with the, the same key image and see what we get. Okay, so the first uh, edit I played on the uh, three subjects within the frame. This one, let's try something different. Gonna put some options here. To see what uh, what jumps at me.
Hmm, okay, wait, hang on. So always uh, when doing this exercise, especially if you edit your own work as well, it's always looking for cues, you know. Cues that will lend, uh, lend some sort of a new um, relationship between images that you can feed off on and uh, play off each other. Um, let's see. All of a sudden, I don't have enough images. Eh? Feels like I need more. Uh, well, we'll just make do with what we have. Okay, I'm kind of kind of feeling maybe this. So this is uh, maybe going a bit more sort of surrealistic. Uh, Okay, let's just play with this one. Um, I granted uh, won't necessarily work all the time, but uh, as well. Let's see. Okay, so this is my second sequence. Once again, start off with this then leads to this the loaves turns into a big gold uh, rock yep and then from that turns to this uh, three subjects uh, complementing colors the blues uh, but the three subjects it's a uh, man a bear and a peacock so that you know carries on the surrealistic quality and then from there I think the uh, landscapes here kind of uh, lend itself uh, to blending with each other and then the white spots transitions to a white horse statue which in turn ties back to the first frame because the buildings kind of, uh, I mean, I kind of feel like the facades complement each other. So it's like a circle. So that's my next edit. So I'll just show them again. Is it like this? No, it was just the other way. One, two, three. Then one, two, three. Okay. Hope that was fun and interesting. Just do one. So I'll just do one pan through of the uh, edit. So this is uh, the second one, the surrealistic one. Right. This is the uh, first one, first edit. Okay. Thanks for watching.